So welcome to day 29 of our Hackerang 30 days coding challenge and I think this will be the last day of this exercise and you can see that we are talking about bitwise and the difficulty level of this question or this challenge is medium. So let's see what we are going to do here. Given a set S equal to 1, to 1, 2, 3 to N, find integers A, B, where A is less than B from set such that the value of A and B is the maximum possible and also less than a given integer K. In this case, ampersand represents the bitwise and operator. Okay, so I'm going to explain it in my whiteboard and I think it's going to be clearer here. So I'm going to clean up the board and then let me just explain it to you so that you understand what is happening. So basically we have, just clean up this one. So assuming we have um, integer n and we also have k, okay? So they want us to find out, we, of course we should have an array or a list of one, two, three, four, five, all the way to n. So in this case, our n here should be, uh, should be what? Should be six, okay? And we have a value for k. So what we are going to do, we are going to check one against two. We are going to check one and, can I write the symbol? So we are going to check one and two, one second. So we are going to check one, against two we are going to check one against three one against four so each time we check we are going to check and make sure that the maximum is stored in the current maximum so once we calculate this value and it's larger than the current maximum we are going to replace this current maximum and at the end of the loop we return this current maximum but each time we do this we need to make sure that the current maximum should be less than k so i think it's better we just write the code i think it becomes clearer that way so let's go to the console here so i'm going to start a loop i'm going to say for i i in range r n so for i in range n, and the second loop is going to say for j in range, this time we are going to be going from i to n, from i to n, okay? So meanwhile, we are going to define the current maximum here. So I'm going to say current, current max is equal to zero here. So what we have here is we, need now, we now need to compare i and j, okay? So I'm going to say if i and, and j is less than k, because that is the criteria, the i and j has to be less than k. I'm now going to say if um, i and j, i and j is greater than the current maximum, current max. If this is the case, and I'm going to replace the current maximum by saying that current max is equal to i and j. Meanwhile, I would like to just uh, put i and j in a new variable here. So I'm going to say uh, value is equal to i and j. So I'm going to now be checking value here or the result, but I'm calling the value. So I'm going to also replace value here. So basically, this is exactly what we need to do. So let me increase the font, the size here a little bit. So let's see if we are missing out something. And at the end of the day, we are simply going to return. We are going to return current max right here. Um, so we are checking ing is less than k. Uh, so permit me to move this value here. Value is equal to i and j. Okay, so I'm going to take out the value from here and I'm going to check it here. The value is less than k. 
Okay, so at this point it's gonna work, but I believe this code is not optimal, but let's try to run it and let's see. So we fail one sample test case, which is this one. So let's see where we have some problems. Um, okay, let me just restructure this code at this point. So let me just take out this part. So we have a value is value is calculated to be i and j so like this so i'm going to check if the value is greater than the current mass mark if the value is greater than the current max and the value is less than k okay so we are going to replace the current max is equal to value yeah so i think this should be fine okay and it's going to work but if also if also the value we cut the, if the if the current max at this time is equal to k minus one we're also going to return it immediately so i'm going to say if the current max if the current max is equal to k minus one we will just return immediately instead of going further because that is the, 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 the value that is highest is the maximum value that is less than k. So I'm going to just return current max. Yeah, but if it doesn't come here, then we are going to come all the way down and then return it. So I'm going to run this code at this point and let's see what happens. So it fails the second test case. So I think we need to get our index indices right. So we are going from range from range 1 to n plus 1 so it's going to be from range 1 i is going from range 1 because 0 should not be part of the indices okay and here we are going from j is equal to i to n plus 1 actually i'm going to run again and let's see so let me try to optimize by saying j is equal to i plus 1 because i'm not going to be comparing i with itself so j is equal to i plus 1 to n plus 1. So let's run the code. I think it should be fine by now. All right. So let's submit the, 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 the code and let's see if it passes all the test cases. <laughs> I was just saying maybe one test case may fail, but everything worked successfully. So at this point, we've completed the 30 days coding challenge from day 0 to day 29. And I'd like to give you a big thumbs up for coming this far. I'd like to thank you for doing this with me. Now, the 30 days coding challenge, I'm just going to go back. Let me just show you the whole 30 days we've solved. If I go to uh, 30 days coding challenge here, you can see we've solved all of them, but you can see that almost all of them is, uh, the difficulty is easy. You can see easy for almost all of them except a, a few about three of them that are medium but we also can improve our skills if we solve more problems maybe harder ones medium ones expert so i'm going to form i'm going to create another uh, series of, of of challenges that we are going to look into together so please if you are joining for the first time if you've not subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel right now by clicking on the subscribe button below also leave me a comment if you have some challenge you want me to help solve, please let me know as well in the comment box below. Rest assured that I'm going to respond to your comment and give you the needed support. So we see in the next part.